welcome back to another episode of the Drawing Science Club. I am your host, Brenda. Today we are going to be testing the pH of materials using a cabbage indicator. The first thing that you're going to need for this is boiled cabbage juice from a purple cabbage. Boil a head of cabbage on the stove in a big pot of water for a couple hours, let it rest until cool, and then come back and pour it in your jars. For this demonstration, you'll need three jars, but if you want to try different pH levels and make an entire pH scale from red to green, then you will need more jars. You will also need baking soda and vinegar and a spoon for mixing. All right, let's get started. This cabbage jar in the middle is going to be our base. It is going to represent the center of the pH scale, a neutral pH. Over here is going to be our base, and over here is going to be our acid. Bases turn green, and acids turn red or pink. So let's try it out and see if baking soda is a base or an acid, if vinegar is an acid or a base. First, I'm gonna take some baking soda and put it in this jar. Give it a little stir. It turned a bit of a lighter blue. Let's add another scoop and see what happens. If you can't see the color change, then your cabbage juice might be too strong and you can just dilute it with water. Okay, I diluted my mixture so now you can see on camera that this one in fact turned green when we added the baking soda. Let's add vinegar to this one and see what happens. The more vinegar you add, the pinker it gets. And there you have it. The vinegar was an acid, the baking soda was a base, and you've got your original blue or purple color to indicate that this is a neutral pH, just the same as water. And that's it for this experiment. If you'd like to take things further, you can always experiment with adding different levels of acids and bases or testing different household liquids and materials to see if they're an acid or a base. Here's the science. Now guys, I have my baby Amy with me, so if you hear any weird bumps or thumps or sounds, it's probably her. You just did the cabbage pH indicator experiment. Cabbage juice is really interesting because it's very sensitive to changes in pH. It changes from one color to another depending on the pH of the substance added to it. Because of this, you can actually make an entire pH rainbow of sorts with varying colors from dark blue all the way up to pink, depending on what you add. The pH scale measures acids and bases. Water is a neutral. It is a seven on the pH scale. Acids have lower pHs and bases have higher pHs. 14 is the most basic pH scale and zero is the most acidic. A pH indicator is a liquid that changes color depending on whether an acid or a base is added to it. You can buy expensive pH indicators from a science store or online, but cabbage juice is very interesting because it's a natural pH indicator. The blue or purple cabbage juice turns red when something acidic is added to it, and when something basic is added to it, it turns green. So by varying the amounts of acids and bases added to your cabbage juice, you can create a variety of different colors. Why is cabbage a natural pH indicator? Cabbage contains a water-soluble pigment. This pigment is called anthocyanin. This is the pigment that actually changes color and reacts to the acid or the base added to the cabbage juice. If when you add a substance to your cabbage juice and it doesn't change color, that probably means it has a neutral pH. If you want to turn the pH scale demonstration into a full science experiment, you'll need to add some variables. One thing you could do is test different household liquids to see if they are acids or bases. You can also try adjusting how much cabbage juice is inside the liquid to see if that changes whether, to see if that affects whether it can be a good indicator. You could make your own pH test strips from cabbage by dipping coffee filters into the cabbage juice, letting it dry, and then comparing your homemade cabbage indicator strips with pH indicator strips that you buy at the store 
to see if cabbage is really as sensitive as what you can buy in the store. That's it for today.